Scottish-born David Dunbar Buick formed the Buick Motor Company in Detroit in 1903, specializing in the manufacture of internal combustion engines. In 1904, the firm was taken over by James H. Whiting, who moved the company to Flint, Michigan, and brought William C. Durant on board to manage the operation. It was also in 1904 that the Buick Company produced their first car, the Model B. The early success of Buick is attributed to their overhead valve engine design and was responsible, in part, for Buick becoming the largest automobile maker in the United States at the time. Durant used profits from Buick to help form the General Motors Corporation. By 1932, Buick was firmly established as an innovative manufacturer of upper-level cars aimed at up-and-coming business executives. Buick's top-of-the-line models were designated the Series 90. Equipped with a 344 cubic inch overhead valve straight eight engine, the Series 90s produced 104 horsepower with speeds up to 80 miles per hour. Mechanical innovations included adjustable shock absorbers and the vacuum operated wizard clutch control that allowed shifting gears without depressing the clutch pedal, an early attempt at a semi automatic transmission. The Series 90s were appointed with the finest woods and fabrics, rivaling GM's Cadillac models. The enclosed rear quarters of this club sedan body also provided backseat passengers extra privacy. With a list price of $1,820, only 2,238 of these luxurious Buick Series 90 club sedans were produced in 1932. The Series 90 models would continue in production for another 10 years, but due in part to pressures from executives at Cadillac who felt the Series 90 was taking customers away from their premier line, General Motors stopped production of the 90s in 1942, leaving cars such as this 1932 club sedan as reminders of Buick's luxurious past. We thank Ken Fonestock for his donation of this automobile to the Classic Car Club of America Museum.